Hello and welcome into Kloon Arena on the United States Air Force Academy. I'm Brian German along with brand new Air Force Falcon women's basketball head coach Chris Gobrecht and starting forward Madeline Philpott. Thanks for joining us today ladies as we take a look at your team here on Mountain West Media Day. And uh, first off coach I have a question for you because you come here from Yale and you have storied history at Washington and at Yale for yourself. It's going to be your first year with the Falcons. I guess we just kind of want to know what your coaching philosophy is, what you'll be trying to do with these ladies. I think the biggest thing that uh, I try to impress on my team is that we want to be the ones who decide the action. We don't want to be done to. We want to be doing the doing to. So a lot of what I teach is about dictating tempo and, and dictating pace and, and uh, deciding from the, it doesn't matter from end line to end line, we want to be the ones who are calling the shots. And so we'll play very, very aggressively and try to always keep the other guy back on their heels a little bit and uh, don't ever let anybody get comfortable. It's, it's important that, that, that you keep, you make the other team do things they don't want to do and do things at a speed they don't want to do them at. Absolutely. Madeline, I have to ask you, you haven't had an interaction with Coach at practice yet. That starts later today. Right. But tell me, I mean, just listening to what she said and maybe some interactions before then, your first impressions of the coach. Um, honestly, we're just, we're really excited about what she's going to bring to this team. And it's going to be a complete 180 from what we had in the past. But I think it's going to be really good. And the team is definitely ready to take on the challenge. Stay with you, Madeline. I want to ask you because last year you set a record. Uh, you made 56 of 61 free throws. That was a new Air Force Falcon record, Division One, 91.8 percent mm -hmm. from the line. You also top rebounder. You had several uh, best free throw percentage for this team. What are your goals specifically for yourself and maybe for this team coming into this year? Uh, specifically for myself, um, I, honestly, I just want to build on what we've already started, what I started doing last year. I want to contribute more uh, points-wise, honestly. Um, other than that, yeah, just do as much as I can for the team and what she wants us to do and just <laughs> see what I can do as a role player. All right. Coach, along with Madeline, you also have Christina Gamble, a senior forward returning. you got sophomore guard Courtney Porter, kind of the field general. She has been for the last two years. And uh, Dee Bennett, another sophomore back excuse me and also junior guard Sydney Graham those are kind of kind of the core of returning players I know you haven't seen them practice yet but how do you feel about the players you have coming in this year well from what I've seen so far I think you're really accurate in the people that you identified as being as being our core players and what I see is is I think we're going to be a team that we've got to do a great job as coaches playing to their strengths we've got to find out what each each player really has to bring to the floor and find a way to be sure they get an opportunity to do that. Um, Madeline is a very uh, talented offensive player and, and probably our best shooter. I mean, uh, just if you shoot, nine, I've never coached anybody that shot 92% from the free throw line. So uh, I would just say, let's get you fouled. I mean, that'll be that'll be job one. But um, but they are uh, they're they're tough. I have noticed that um, they're not afraid to mix it up. They're willing to work hard. I mean, Certainly, hard work is is not a, a dirty word to uh, Air Force Academy cadets, and and I've been very impressed with their attitude, their um, just their ability to learn quickly. Um, I I think they're going to be a lot of fun to coach, and I think they're going to we're going to be able to play a style that people enjoy watching. Right. Let's stick with you just for a minute because you know a little bit about Air Force Academy cadets uh, having <laughs> brought one up. Tell, yeah. tell us, uh, is, it, it's, is it fun and is your son and your, and your husband happy that you're here at the Air Force Academy? Oh my gosh, we're thrilled. It's, it's just uh, really been, I mean, I've said this before that it's like a dream come true to be able to come to the Air Force Academy and do something that you feel like you do well and it's something you can give give to this community and, and uh, just help make a difference for people that matter a lot to you and, and I really believe in the mission. Um, I'm, I'm honored to be here. Awesome. Now the women's game is going to change this year as far as instead of two 20 minute halves it will be four 10 minute quarters and there's some other foul changes. Coach maybe you can explain some of that but what, does that does it make it tougher? Does it change the game a lot? I think we have to wait and see how yeah. much it changes the game. I'm for anything that uh, takes away stoppage. I don't like stoppage in a game. I think the more we can keep keep playing, the, the more it puts it, it, it benefits our style of play for there to be less stoppage. And the whole philosophy behind doing this is that it will create less stoppage. 
because you're not going to be shooting as many free throws, you're not going to be um, having as many timeouts. Um, so I'm excited about it from that standpoint. It, it'll definitely be interesting. I think the I think the foul change is going to have the biggest impact. Um, the idea that you go, uh, you reset the foul count on every quarter, and as soon as you hit five, you shoot two. No no more bonus shots. Um, that's going to be interesting. It'll certainly change end of game strategies and, and things of that sort. Um, but I think overall, uh, I'm kind of excited about it. I, I'm for anything that just makes us keep playing. Yeah. I hate those timeouts. <laughs> <laughs> Should be fun this year for the Falcons. Some exciting non-conference games as well. They go on the road for their first game against Sweet 16 team from last year, Gonzaga. You'll also play against Vanderbilt and Navy. And that's where I want to go with this, Madeline, is uh, how important is it when you play against Navy? It'll be your last non-conference game, your right. last time to, to face them as a senior. Mm -hmm. How important will that game be to you? Um, it's huge. I think the last time we played them was my sophomore year. And Obviously, any Surface Academy game, like that rivalry there, like it's a friendly competition, but at the same time, like you, you want to crush them. It's, it's not like another game. It's, it's different for sure. So um, we're really excited about it. That's awesome. Coach, opening up with Gonzaga, uh, you know, went to the Sweet 16 <laughs> yeah. last year. Yeah, they're You're, pretty good. That's a good measuring stick, <laughs> I guess. What? <laughs> I think it's great to play a team like that right out of the blocks because it, you, you definitely find out where, where you are as, as a team, as a program. Um, I think right away it sets the bar very high. It's a game you can get excited about all through preseason. You can look forward to. Uh, but we had we, we were starting off with Gonzaga, and then when we we took over the scheduling uh, when I was hired in the spring, we had to find two more games, and we added Vanderbilt and Navy. So you can tell we don't shy away from <laughs> from going out and. and uh, giving ourselves experiences and, and that's what these guys want I mean they want to they want to go play the best they want to see what see what they can do and if you don't play somebody good you don't have a chance to beat them so we're excited about it. Mal, I want to ask you you mm -hmm. mentioned a little bit about uh, a little bit of excitement because coach Gobrecht and her staff is here right. do you feel that amongst people that know and follow the women's basketball team up on the hill are they, are they as excited as the, as the players are? Yeah I do actually I get questions about the new coaching staff all the time <laughs> They're like, hey, like, how do you think you're going to do this season? Like, do you think you're going to improve on last year? Like, is it going to be a good change? And it's always like, yes, like, we're excited. We want to get in there. We want to work. And, yeah, for sure. That's awesome. <laughs> Coach, and with, with that, I want to ask, is there a bar that you set? Is there a certain number of wins? Is there a certain thing that you're looking for in this first season? Oh, golly. I, I think the most important thing anytime you you – start off uh, with a new program is is to establish the culture of the program and, and the identity of the team and and those are our two biggest goals uh, who are we going to be and how are we going to play and we want we want to I mean I think these guys are, are ready to just say gosh you know lay it on us what what do you want us to do and, and they're going to do it and so that that's a wonderful feeling because sometimes when you come into a program you know they want to hang on to the old way of doing things and you you've got to really make them change course and so I'm very appreciative of that and I think that if we can get this if we can become a, a competitive program this year the, the type of team we want to be the type of team that everybody is going oh man we got to play Air Force this week yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's how we want people to feel and and we're going to compete uh, I don't think we can say oh X number of wins I, I don't know that that's going to define our success or not for us. I, I think it's going to be how we feel at the end of the year about who we were and how we competed and, and um, who we became as a team, too. Awesome. Madeline Philpott, Chris Gobrecht, thank you very much for your time. Okay. That'll do it from here at Clune Arena in the United States Air Force Academy. You've been watching Mountain West Media Day.